every good workout starts with a dry scoop. And pretty soon, I'm gonna need new pre-workout. What do you have? I got this one. Tito actually gave it to one of my friends. He gave it to me. Like, what the hell? That's pretty freaking cool. Yeah, there you go. But it tastes really good. It tastes like tangerine. So question of the day, do you dry scoop or do you pour it in a water? <laughs> I know, right? Let's find out. Ready? Enrique's gonna go first. If he can stop making a mess all over the floor. Wow, these are already dirty as is. And that's how you dry scoop. I'm so excited to buy new pre workout. You're almost out, huh? Yeah, I can't even get a good scoop anymore. Cheers. I like how you shake your head. Because <coughs> it shakes it in there. <laughs> Weight, volume, or intensity, babe? There you go. Going to 205 now. All right, we just finished the uh, rag pulls. Now we're going to do some lap pull downs. We're gonna do three to four sets of a moderate to heavy weight. Um, we're just gonna try to get about from eight to 12 reps in each set. So, I mean, it's technically still failure. So, um, that's eight to 12 is kind of where we're ranging at, but we'll see what we get through there. What happened? Ooh, get a little bruise. Doing the rock. <clears throat> Let's do it. Yeah, you did a lot. You did too many. Yeah, it's okay. A little heavier. Go a little heavier, huh? Yeah. The only issue is that. So we're gonna go from 70 to 85 for you, right? Yeah. I it, I always recommend if you can't go heavy because you don't go heavy if you don't have a good one.
how's that feel? That's what it's supposed to feel like. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Less volume, but more intensity. I'm trying to grow. All right, so Carla's gonna go a little bit heavier in weight. She moved up to 85 pounds. See how many reps she can get. It's a little bit better. That was 10. Yeah. You can tell it's getting a little heavy though because you're leaning more back. I was leaning way more back. Yeah. All the way back. But it's fun, I did it. Yeah, there you go. All right, so we're gonna do some yeah. cedar rows now. You might get, How many sets are we gonna do? You might get copyrighted because I found some like How many sets? <laughs> How many sets are we gonna do? Uh, we're not doing a particular set. Actually, yeah, we're doing four sets. We're doing four to five sets. We're gonna go till failure, each one. Oh, I thought you meant rest. Damn, Carla, your back is looking good, dude. I always feel my endorphins being really good. Like, I feel like my endorphins, like when I'm doing this workout, like rows in particular, I always feel, you know how your body gets the chill? Yeah. I always feel the chill. The chill is like the endorphins. It's called a pump. It's called well, a dirty ass endorphins. pump. <laughs> Let's just say how it is, a pump. But your back is looking good, though. I know. Looks real good. <laughs> So a very sad moment. My headphones actually ran out of battery, so and I'm trying to get a pump. And it's hard to do one without music blasting through your ears. And Carla has her beautiful nice headphones. Hang on shit. Alright, now we're moving to some lateral lat pull downs. Carla's doing plate. All right guys, so as we're doing with intensity training, we have to increase the amount of rest time we have. And instead of being 15 to 20 seconds, we wanna go up to like 45 seconds to at least a minute at bare minimum because since we are training heavy, you guys want to be able to not get too fatigued 
and be able to pull and push that weight. Um, and if you take 15 seconds, you're not gonna have enough uh, endurance to do this type of workout. So at least a minute when you guys do take your breaks. All right guys, so this is our finisher. Right before we get into the biceps, we're gonna finish with this one back. Um, the way you wanna do this is you wanna arch your back a little, you wanna go through, and then bring your chest out. Your reps are a little bit lower, we can increase the weight, but we're doing intensity. So. Okay, so now we are about to do some barbell um, curls, and then we are going to do um, maybe like some dumbbell. But we're only going to do three bicep workouts. We do try to hit arms like technically we hit them three times a day or three times a week because we do shoulders and triceps, and then we do back and biceps, and then we try to do like a day of arms, but. And we can are actually changing the way that we are doing our like workout routine or split. So maybe we'll talk more about that in a different video. Let us know if you guys are interested in seeing our workout split and how we do it. Um, typically we try to hit um, as any, every muscle group at least twice a week if possible, depending on fatigueness. Um, but yeah, bicep time. You ready? Let's get some. Let's get it. How do I feel? I saw a little vein right here. Did you? Nope. She's there. <laughs> she, look, 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 look. Enough? Okay. She's there. She's just hiding. She got, she got shot. <laughs> the mirror never lies. Single arm bicep curl. the option of sitting down or doing the standing up but we do want to do a standing up the reason for that being is well it's more of an athletic position I mean sitting down we're just moving our biceps um, but standing up we got core activation and it's just overall more of a uh, intensity workout wouldn't you say you feel that more like around your core as well standing up yeah for sure
All right, guys, so we're done with the workout. Um, Why are you shaking so much? Free fucking workout, dude. Oh. All right, guys, so we're done with the workout. Um, we're just gonna do a quick little physique update. We're currently putting on size this year. Oh, not this year, but right now. I wouldn't call it our off season because it's not like we're competing or anything, but we're definitely not cutting. So, with that being said, I'm probably increase my calories about two to 300 calories. Um, and then Carla's doing about the same thing. So, Carla's starting weight about a month ago was 113 and she is currently 114 all right and you're at what right now i'm around like 117 118 so i'm slowly increasing um my carbs and i'm definitely trying to increase my protein and okay. by that is protein shakes because i don't eat enough protein so i need to just drink drink it all right so cool so let's go ahead and do a quick little physique update here okay thing like the okay we're like tired. Okay. Now turn around. It's not going to be like the best. Okay. All right, back up a little. Let me see your quads. Um, I feel like I lost my quads. I don't know. Stomach looks like amazing. I but I almost had abs. <laughs> but, um... I like your back. Your back's looking really good. Yeah, um, lost a little bit of fat. Definitely lost fat around the glute area. Um, that is prone to happen. You do a calorie deficit. You lose fat. So I tend to gain fat here, around this area, and it goes straight to my butt. So when I start to increase, you guys will start to see a little bit more of like a pudge here, um, and then the glutes will obviously be more full, um, and then the face. All right, so I actually started at 160 pounds and I'm currently at 174. So I've got about 14 pounds within one month. Um, but basically, I feel like my shoulders have gotten way broader. Arms are definitely growing. And uh, triceps as well. I also feel like my, my goal this year is to get bigger legs. Yeah. My quads are definitely... So when we get one from not doing legs, when I first met him, he didn't used to train legs. Now look at that. Also, he has really good genetics, so a lot of potential. But it's uh, it's it's been a solid month, guys, and I put on 14 pounds. A lot of it is body weight. I mean, not body weight, water weight. Yeah. And um, you know, but I am currently, uh, like I said, I'm eating about two to three hundred calories above my maintenance. Um, I'm eating about 185 um, grams of protein, and I'm eating about. Ugh, 300 grams of carbs around that ballpark. It's not to a T, guys. It's not a complete science. It's hard to track your macros. It's impossible to track <laughs> how much you're burning. Um, and it's impossible to track really what you're eating, like, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, because like the piece of meat is not always going to be the same amount of meat. That's yeah, yeah. You can try. And there's a ballpark, you can try. And yeah. it's always going to be a ballpark, but it's not the exact number. So don't think that, oh my gosh, I got to be to the exact same number. Just, have an idea and go from there. Yeah, and also because we've been doing this for a while, we're kind of so used to it, um, but we cut down a lot. So I cut down a lot to the point where I was kind of getting um, body dysmorphia um, because I missed how I look. But so she, she, she keeps telling herself that she lost her butt and her butt is huge and I don't think- Cause I did, cause I, I used to be a lot thicker. Um, but I am stronger than I've ever been and I feel extre and extremely what happy. You, what, like, and what do you contribute your strength coming from? What have you done different during this time that you've gotten stronger? Just like more intensity, Just high focusing intensity. on my upper body because I used to only do legs. Uh, I, like not only, but I used to only focus. And then my, I changed my mindset and I decided that I wanted a stronger upper body. Um, I love where I'm at now. So I don't want to be like too bulky. Right. But I, I love where I'm at now. So I think just that. Consistency. Good deal. Yeah. So. All right, guys. So we are done at the gym. Um, we're gonna go home. We have to meal prep now because we're freaking starving. I gotta get some food for the rest of the, uh, not the whole week though, because Christmas mm -hmm. is coming up. So. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, give us a thumbs up, a like. Hit that notification bell, and, and let us know if you guys want to see more fitness. 
Like, for sure, yeah, we would love to do more fitness videos. So for sure, if you guys like the video, I mean, we're not uh, pros, nor are we trainers, nor, nor are we certified. Are we saying, yeah, 100%, so we're just learning, ever, guys. Ever, you know, yeah, we're all learning. We're all yeah. Learning. It's all, it's a new adventure every single time. You're always learning something new when it comes to fitness. But we love you guys, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.